I'm Supriya and I welcome you to Supriya's Kitchen. In this episode today, I will be sharing super simple, wonderful, on the go, super instant recipe of paneer, which is really great for your lunch and dinner. It doesn't take much time, literally doesn't take much time. Within 10 to 15 minutes, you can make this amazing recipe, which tastes delicious. If you're getting late for your office or if your guests are arriving on short notice, this is the perfect recipe. Trust me. So let's see how do we make it. First of all, here I have this pan. So into this we will add just one or two tablespoons of oil. Perfect. So here our oil is nicely heated up. Now into this oil I will add six to seven cubes of onion and also here I have one third cup of uh, red capsicum. So I have cut them into cubes. You can use any capsicum, doesn't matter the color. Now let's add just one or so just two to three minutes i think two minutes is enough we will just roast it uh until it gets nice you know a uh, little bit of uh, brown coating on the top of it so till then onion and capsicum is cooking here i have this blender into this i will add this one cup of or medium size of roughly chopped onion and also I have two medium size of tomato so I will make a nice puree out of it so first I will make a paste of this onion now I will add a uh, tomato into this my blender uh, this jar is little small if you have big you can add all together okay so here my onion and capsicum has nicely done I will take it out in my plate and here this onion and tomato puree is also ready. Now in the same pan, I will be adding 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic and green chilli paste or crushed you can say. Now we will just mix it very well until we see there is a slight change in the color, little like golden brown color. So here our uh, ginger garlic and green chilli has done nicely. It has turned into light brown color. Now into this, I will be adding this tomato and onion puree. Perfect. So after adding this tomato and onion, I will add all the spices. So first I will add salt to taste. Next here I have half teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of garam masala. I will also add half teaspoon of mango powder just for the little tangy flavor and here goes one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. Next goes one tablespoon of kasuri methi. I like the flavor of kasuri methi, so I'm adding little more. Perfect. Now I will add one tablespoon of tomato ketchup. Perfect. Now I will cover the lid and let it cook on medium flame for 5 to 8 minutes. Perfect. So it's been 5 minutes. We will just mix it a little bit. Okay. So now I will add this approximately 1 cup of paneer which I have cut it into a uh, triangle. You can cut it in any shape whichever you like. So this is approximately 100 grams. Now I will add a little bit of water just 2 to 3 tablespoons. We can add a little bit more water, I think, or water you can adjust as much as gravy you're looking for. Okay. 
Now cover it and let it cook for 3 to 4 minutes on a medium flame. Perfect. So it's been 3 to 4 minutes and the paneer has become nice and soft and I can already smell the wonderful aroma. Now we will just check it and stir it a little bit. Okay, so now I will add this shallow fried onion cubes and capsicum. Uh, so even if you don't want to add this onion cubes and capsicum cubes, you can completely skip it. Uh, but otherwise this tastes amazing. Okay, so now what next? So here we will switch off the flame. And I will add 1 tablespoon of cream. And at last goes some freshly chopped coriander. Perfect. So here the delicious and super instant paneer is ready to eat. You can enjoy with fulka, naan, paratha, rice. Just awesome. Now I will just taste it. Mmm. Super soft paneer, amazing taste, full of flavor of all the spices and little bit tangy flavor of this, uh, I mean due to this mango powder and tomato ketchup, it's just awesome guys. So flavorful recipe, you will have all the, all the spices, all the fragrance, just amazing guys. Do try out this recipe and don't forget to mention in the comment box that how did you like the recipe. And also don't forget to hit on bell icon so that you will never miss the update. See you in the next episode. Till then enjoy food and stay healthy. Bye bye.